Hello, my name is Paul Priestley. Welcome to my video on how to draw trees. Starting from very simple shapes, I'll show you how to draw different types of trees and make them look three-dimensional. Let's make a start. Let's look at a real tree. If you look at this example here, you can see the lights coming from the left-hand side. You can see the right-hand side of the tree is dark. And because of that, it creates these lumps, these rounded shapes, which are light on top and dark underneath. Those are the shapes that we need to draw, and those are the shapes you need to look for. Here, you see. Now, each tree has its own set of shapes. If we look at this willow tree, for example, you can see those long, rounded, hanging shapes. Those are the shapes that we need to create the willow tree. We've established that the shapes of the tree are the things that we should be looking for. So we're going to start by sketching the shapes. Don't make the shapes too circular. Um, we're looking at a very simple, basic tree to start with. So I'm just going to block in a few of these little, little shapes as you can see here, more or less almost in a sort of triangular sort of shape, but a few sort of extra ones on here, as you can see. Now, I'm assuming the light is coming from this direction, so these shapes are all going to be shaded shortly using three tones. I'm going to put a couple of simple triangles underneath here, just to suggest branches of a tree and we come down there for the tree trunk. So we've got our very simple basic tree. Now what I'm imagining in as I've mentioned light is coming in this direction. We're going to start with the dark tones first. Each of these shapes is going to go from dark tone, mid tone, light tone. So I'm going to start shading in the dark areas of each of the shapes with the sun coming in this direction. So, I'm now going to change the way I hold my pencil. So my pencil is held like this, so I can use the side of my pencil, and I'm going to start shading in the dark tones. Now you'll notice I am not doing it too neatly. I'm leaving little blocks here and there, you see? There we go. So we go around each of these shapes, remembering light is coming in this direction. So. It's the left-hand side of the shape, which is going to be in darkness. So I continue doing this until I've completed all of my dark shapes. Again, don't make the whole thing too neat. We don't want nice little stripes running around the side. So we want it broken up a little bit. Okay, as you can see, as I'm doing here, nice dark sort of areas. So I'm coming around this section here, right along the bottom of the tree. This is going to be very dark along here and the same applies here and so on. So I've got a nice section of dark tones. There we are. Okay. So, i put in my darker tones. I now need to work on my mid-tones. So this time I'm going to press on not quite so hard, but again remembering the light is coming in this direction. So I'm going to press on maybe not quite so hard this time, and I put in the mid-tones. You'll notice I'm leaving some areas slightly light, and again I'm trying to make sure that the areas are not to neat, make this look quite so rough and ready. There we go. Okay, and remembering all the time that light is coming in one direction. Okay, it's coming down in this sort of direction here. So, I put on two tones, it's beginning to look three dimensional. I'm now going to put on my lighter tone, so I'm going to press on very lightly here now, my lighter tone just in some areas here. So I'm beginning to suggest my tree shape. Okay, so just a few of the little lighter areas as you can see. Now, 
my tree trunk here to make the tree trunk look as though it's actually underneath the tree the top parts of these branches are going to be in shadow so I need to make sure that these are just as dark as the darkest area of my tree so I'm coming down here and I'm making my very very dark over here as well and I come down to about that sort of level there I'm now going to just work down one side of my tree to put the very dark shadows in. Again, don't make it too neat because the tree is not going to be too, too neatly drawn. Okay, and I bring my petals down, down to this sort of shapes here. Just put a bit of shadow on my tree. So I put in my darker tones. Imagine my lighter tones now, my mid-tones, put a few little mid-toned areas in just around here. And you can see how my tree trunk now is beginning to look three-dimensional. And finally, if I was to put a little uh, bush or something behind, perhaps maybe a small bushes along here, I could shade this in and create an edge on here and notice how it throws out my tree trunk. You see? There. Now, you can see how we've drawn this tree using those rounded sort of shapes. Let's see now how we can develop this and create different types of trees just by simply changing the shape of these elements here. For example, at shapes of a willow tree, maybe slightly rounded at the top, maybe those shapes might come down, rounded sort of shapes, rounded sort of shapes coming down in this sort of pattern perhaps. Okay, round, might have trees underneath, shapes coming round, and maybe a small tree trunk underneath, and you can create um, an interesting tree based around these simple curved shapes. And again, you could shade them in and work on from there. I'll, I'll not finish that off, but you can see how it works. We could take a different type of shape. Look at these very thin horizontal sort of shapes, but gaps in between. And you can see here, we can build up a tree with interesting shapes to them. See, long thin shapes. Imagine now the tree trunk coming down here, tree trunk coming up between, coming up out into these little sections here. You see? And you have, again, an interesting shape, tree. So we can draw different types of trees by looking for the shapes. Look for the patterns, look for the shapes, and you can create much more interesting trees and therefore create much more interesting drawings. And if you're taking these as far as paintings, more interesting paintings. So look for the shapes.